Hi everyone and welcome to the Scandinavian Outdoor Award. This time we are located in Stockholm, Sweden and the Scandinavian Outdoor Award has been handled out since 2005. And since then a jury, an international jury, meet two times a year to test and discuss products within the Scandinavian Outdoor Group brands. Yesterday we met up in the city of Stockholm at our base camp, the Hotel Downtown Camper. But since this is an outdoor award, we of course need to get into the outdoors to try out the products. So today we have gotten out to the Stockholm Archipelago, out to Idaborg, and we have spent the day here trying out the products and discussed a lot about them. Hi everybody, my name is Gijs, which is a really harsh name to say if you're non-Dutch. Uh, I am an outdoor gear and bike reviewer from the Netherlands. And I've been reviewing for a good part of my life. I started as a motorcycle uh, reviewer, then onto boats. And for the last, I think, 16, 7 years, I've been reviewing outdoor products. And I've been on the Scandinavian Outdoor Award jury meeting already a number of times. Uh, I think it's by 5, 15 times by now. And I really love this because we got the possibility to play with really cool new outdoor stuff outdoors, like here in Sweden again. Um, and I love playing with outdoor products. And it seems that in Scandinavia, the Scandinavians just understand the outdoor a little bit more than in some other parts of the world. Um, so that's why I like being on this jury. Thank you so much for having me. I'm Piot from Gori Magazine from Poland. I'm called to be one of the three musketeers of uh, jury of Scandinavian Outdoor Award jury because it's probably like maybe 12th time for me to test great Scandinavian products. And you know, I'm really happy because of course it's the Alps. The Alps are the great are, are great to test uh, any uh, outdoor product. But still, now we came back to the cradle because we are again in Scandinavia and testing Scandinavian products, which is great. Thank you. Hello, my name is Philipp Oldsmeyer. Um, I'm a German living in Sweden, Stockholm, um, since 16 years. I'm working for another agency, um, a content agency focused on outdoor and sustainability. Uh, we are producing some great magazines like 365, uh, um, the magazine for uh, Natur Kompanie, and Party Writer, um, and the German magazine Nor about Scandinavian outdoors. Um, and even the uh, sustainable, outdoor, sustainable outdoor news Saston. Um, I've been in the, the jury for the Scandinavian Outdoor Award for uh, um, four or five times and it's always a great experience to test products and uh, to see um, what happens in the Scandinavian outdoor business and uh, nice to be here. So my name is Linda Åkerberg. I'm an adventurer from Stockholm, Sweden, and I love the outdoors. And when I'm not outdoors myself, I work with trying to inspire others to get out in the outdoors. And when I got asked to be a part of the jury this year, I said, of course, yes, because it's very interesting to see new stuff and new innovation within the outdoor industry. Hi, I'm Nate Axvig from Denver, Colorado. Uh, this is my first year on the jury for the Scandinavian Outdoor Group. I own a shop in Denver called Active that brings the very best of Scandinavian clothing to uh, the US. Uh, the origin of our shop was that we lived in Oslo, Norway for a year and when we lived there we discovered all these fantastic brands and decided that Colorado needed to see them. So I'm very excited to be here. Hi, I'm Joel Svedlund. I work for Peak 63 uh, and uh, we are working for the SOG with uh, sustainability and uh, managing their sustainability network and other things. Um, I am part of the Scandinavian Outdoor Award jury, but today I could not join the jury work in Stockholm, so I will join digitally. Hey, my name is Frank Bucker. I am equipment editor for the German Outdoor Magazine, the leading German publication regarding backpacking and hiking, and I've been testing gear for them for over 25 years. 
and it's always a lot of fun to be part of the Scandinavian Outdoor World because we get to see all of the great new Scandinavian gear and I love gear. The features that we are looking for in the products are functionality, innovation, design, quality and of course sustainability. And I bet that you are interested to see what the products are like, so that is why I hand over to Nate. We have here the Rema Megapito kids boots, which I am not testing because they're a little small, but I'm imagining my kids testing them. They have waterproofing, windproofing, sporty look with the Vibram bottom um, made for the kid on the move and seems to be made to last for a long time. Again, they are the Rema Megapito. This is the Hackler uh, Seta T. Um, an apparel for activities in, uh, um, for high performance activities. Um, it's a, a synchronized layer system, as uh, Hackdorf's called it. It's, uh, and there they left the three layer systems behind um, uh, uh, to reach better results when it comes to uh, regulating temperature and hu um, humidity. Um, so this system uh, uh, consists of a, um, a hard shell jacket, Two mid layers, the first one, the second one, and the base layer. So uh, it's perfect to keep you uh, warm and dry in activities and, uh, in the mountains when you're skiing under uh, harsh conditions. So I'm testing this shoe from Alpha called Stad. It's a shoe made out of wool, so it's kind of new. Thing, uh, thing with wool is that it's um, it's uh, water repellent by itself, and it's also breathable. Uh, so that's a new thing for, for winter shoes. I'm wearing it right now, and it's actually quite warm, so it works. And yeah, it's the Alpha Shoe Thud. Now, this is the Kuoma Lumitarina Felt Boot. Um, it is made out of polyurethane in combination with recycled materials. And the top, this felt piece, it is recycled polyester. Uh, and I've been hiking in this one for two days in the Netherlands, but also here in Sweden. And it is pretty warm and it feels very comfortable to wear. Um, what is also the case, because they're all synthetic materials, it is of course a vegan boot. So this is what I wanted to tell you about the Kuoma Lumitarina felt boot. Friends, so I was testing this Polyver Classic Winter Boots uh, today and a little bit yesterday. Uh, and I'm, you know, it's, it's great that at that kind of jury meetings, it's also kind of like eye-opening sometimes. Because what I usually wear, uh, it's, it's like mostly like uh, kind of all kind of hiking and mountaineering boots, like classic one from approach boots to the like a winter boots with gaiters and so on. And, and, and I w probably, without that kind of experience, I, I would never buy it by myself. But yesterday and today, especially when we went to this beautiful island, it was like a kind of like a perfect shoe for that kind of environment. Okay, it's technically we don't make like a, we don't do like any technical stuff like a rocks or something. But but it is really warm. It is really comfortable. Uh, the grip is really great. So, so it's great that sometimes, even if you have, if you are really experienced like I am with testing uh, outdoor stuff, sometimes you can, you can also find the new things. So for sure, a Polyvar winter classic boots for me, that was a new thing which I discovered here at the COA jury meeting. This is the Lars Munson from Unden by Aklima. Uh, a mid-layer base layer hybrid that's got pockets in the middle and up top uh, beautiful stylings on the sleeves that calls for more of after ski or city living uh, not just function again it's the Lars Munson for Munden by Aklima this here is the I am Runbox Pannier it is a backpack for runners and bikers that can easily be turned into a pannier. 
and that gives you no, no excuse to take the car to your work anymore. The IM Runbox Pena. These nice kids boots are the Viking Eco Rocks 1.0. Wellies, that's what I would call them. Um, they are made of a bio-based polyurethane. And I think this is the first boot that's made in this way. And I think this, of course, sustainability-wise, it's quite nice. Um, what I do also like, I don't have kits, to be honest, that have fit these sizes. Um, but I tried them on with my hands. And the lining itself is made out of a wool blend. Um, it's very nice and soft to the skin. Um, and Viking says that they are guaranteed to minus 20 degrees. Two nice little details on the back is this little hilly, because what we always have to do is to use one boot to take the other boot off, which my dad always thought never to do that, but this works actually. And there is a little bit of reflection also on the back side, which is good for safety. On the bottom, we've got a really nice grippy uh, outsole with a nice deep lux, which works perfectly in the snow. This is what I wanted to tell you about the Viking, Viking EcoRox 1.0. Yeah, friends, so for the last two days I was testing the up, this uphill Mala, uh, Mala socks. Uh, it's a, it's a, they are made of, uh, of mixture of merino wool, of a high quality merino wool and polyamide. Uh, I must say, you know, I will, I've been tested probably like more than 20 that kind of products in my life at least. Uh, I, I must say for sure, this uh, uphill socks is not a disappointment. Uh, they are they're performing really well, both in uh, yesterday in kind of approach shoes and today in in a real winter boots. So breathability, you know, they are really thin but but quite warm. Especially yesterday, I could uh, I could uh, test it uh, when it was quite cold and I uh, I was in like a normal approach uh, shoes. Uh, they stay on a foot really well. Uh, yeah, so that's uh, that's all for us for now. What I can say. So uphill, good performance. This is the Kuipen Merino wool shirt by Devold of Norway. 100% wool construction with some nice stretch. Uh, lends itself to walking along a trail or uh, grabbing a few beers at the pub. Again, it's the Kuipen Merino wool shirt from Diewold of Norway. The small boots that I'm carrying here are the Viking Play Rock boots. Um, they are made of EVA, which means that they are totally, absolutely lightweight. The pair weighs only 386 grams. On the inside, there is a nice liner to keep your feet warm. And Viking says that they are warm to minus five degrees. Um, on the back, you will also find reflection, which is of course good for safety and a very nice curve. So you can use one boot to kick the other one off. And when you've done one boot, you can use your feet, of course. On the bottom, there is a rubber grippy outsole. That was what I wanted to share with you on the Viking Play Rock boots. Uh, hi, this is, uh, this is a product from a Swedish company called Dometic. And this product is a water canister. It holds water, which we fill in, uh, goes through the tube and goes to this water faucet. And this faucet makes it easy for you to, with a simple trick, to wash your hands, to brush your teeth or to fill glasses, uh, to drink it and bring it everywhere. So we tested it everywhere here on the island and also yesterday in downtown Kempe in Stockholm. It functions really, really good. It lightens up down here. We are running out of uh, the battery and we didn't load it up yet, otherwise we would use it here. Uh, we are done using it and uh, it comes with a, with a little cable so you can load it up and the, the battery that's quite efficient with a double top and the water is coming out. So very practical and award winning product. So we, we're discussing it. It's a very, very uh, clear and outdoor product because you ten, can take it everywhere. It's probably not for a backpacker, but you can take it everywhere from your car to a place where you camp. Um, and uh, it's for, for simple weekend, weekend uh, activities. It's like at home. So this is easy to transport. It's an outdoor product. You bring it with your car or with your van or for your, for your weekend trip. And it gives a really comfortable kind of uh, service when the water is running here and when you see what you're doing with the light. 
it's award winning and we think that has uh, a good ground to be discussed now in the jury round. Thank you. So now I am out trying this headlamp from Ledex of Sweden called Snook and it has three different settings which of one is like a spot and right now I th think I can see like through the other side of the island with this. Uh, Ledex of Sweden, it's called Snook. This is the IM Runbox Backpack 2.0. With 1200 grams, it is a very lightweight backpack for people who like to run to work or from work to home, of course, or if you're just a commuter that likes to walk. Um, the thing is, what I do like, it's made out of totally recycled materials, among it EVE, TPU and uh, PET bottles. It's got a waterproof zipper and on the inside you've got these, one moment, Compartments. Here there fits a 15 inch laptop and amongst all these zippers you can store your clothing very very nicely. There's an extra bag in there as well for your toiletries. Now um, of course here is space for some office stuff as well and what it comes with is a very nice sheet that tells me how I should fold my clothing. So this is what I wanted to tell you about the IM Runbox Backpack 2.0. This here is a silver Terra Scout. Um, and here, um, the designers had the bright idea to make a headlamp um, just out of hemp and recycled plastics. Um, we tested it out tonight and it was really working good here in the um, Stockholm Archipelago. Um, yeah, a perfect product for the Scandinavian Auto Award. <coughs> Well, actually, the sound that I'm making is pretty stupid because this cake bike, it's totally electric. And this is the prototype of a bike they're doing this year. And the nice thing about this one is that it is a multi-purpose cargo bike. Now, let me get the camera and I'll show you a little bit more on how this actually works. And let me get my iPhone so I know what I'm shooting. Um, the thing is with the cake bike, and I've ridden one last year as well, is the fact that, as you can see, it's got a very big load cargo platform on the front. And this cargo platform, they tell me it's rated for 280 kilos. On the back, same thing, it's for 100 kilos something like that. In the middle you will see a very big battery which is a double capacity of the one that was participating last year and it's got wheels, tires that cannot deflate so when you take this basically off-road you will not have a problem if you get a puncture which I think is absolutely clever. Now we can't ride this one but inside the hotel there is another one and I will be riding that one later. Scandinavian Outdoor Award. This is an activity organized by Scandinavian Outdoor Group where every season we're testing products from brands who are Scandinavian Outdoor Group members on uh, innovation, design, functionality, performance and sustainability. We do this in an outdoor environment with a group of international journalists, influencers uh, and one retail seat um, with the best possible a group of people evaluating, testing and discussing for to announce the overall winner at the Sustainability Award and then awards in different categories.
So that's everything from today. And tomorrow we're going to head back to downtown Camper in Stockholm and present the winners. So we are back at downtown camper after a long day and night of testing and discussing out at Ideborg. And now it's time for us to present the winners. Here comes the jury. In the category footwear, the winner is the Classic Winter Boot by Polyver, a beautiful item that combines comfort, lightness, and insulation. We all loved it. Congratulations, Polyver. I am Ron Box. I've never heard about your brand before but it seems to be a friendship from the first sight. Because I'm so happy to announce that you just won a hardware category of Scandinavian Outdoor Award. Yeah, there are some other, uh, other backpacks of that kind on the market, but we were quite amazed by the design, by functionality, by features. So congratulations, I am Runbox. Well done. I'm very proud to announce the winner of the Kids Award. It is the Raima Mega Pito. Um, the good thing is that it has been insulated with Primaloft Gold Eco, which is 90% recycled materials. Um, next to that, it is warmed to about minus 30 degrees. And what we also like is the very grippy outsole, which is new from Fibram. And for parents that help to put the kids' shoes on, uh, the pulling tabs, they are absolutely excellent. Congratulations, Raima. The Sustainability Award goes to Silva. Um, the Silva Terra Scout is made of hemp and recycled plastics. Um, uh, we think it's a really innovative and uh, sustainable material. It is durable, uh, durable, it looks really good, it looks sustainable. And um, with that, uh, Silva takes a step into a sustainable future, which we think is really, really good. Congratulations, Silva. I am very happy to announce the overall winner for this year, and that is the Alpha Shoe Stod. Made from sustainable and durable Norwegian wool, it is warm, it's breathable, it is water repellent by itself, and it's also very good looking. Um, so it ha basically has all the features we are looking for in a product, and that is why we have decided to give the overall winner award to Alpha Shoe Stod. Congratulations. Well, that was our winners. If you want to read the full motivation statements, you can find them below. Thank you so much for watching and hope to see you soon again.